To switch between object and component type within Blender, what we can do is just use the tab key and we can toggle between those two modes. There's another place in which we can do that, which is using this pull down menu here in the header of the 3D view. Um, as you can see at the moment, we've set to object mode. We could just switch that to edit mode, which is uh, Blender's terminology for the component type or the sub object level. Um, what we can do also is use this to switch to other modes, but we'll just uh, stick between these two modes for now. Once the, we're in edit mode, we can, um, Oops, just cancelled that. The, uh, once we're in edit mode, we can uh, get access to these three icons here, which will switch between the vertex mode, the edge mode, and the face mode. We can also uh, shift select here to have a kind of a multi mode, um, uh, which is the same as uh, Maya's multi select. So we can grab that face, that vertex, and maybe that edge, for example. Um, I'm just going to press A to deselect everything. Um, what, uh, note there's no vertex faces here, that's a, a, a Maya only feature. Something else that we can do is pull up those um, various different sub-object levels uh, with the control tab shortcut key. And we can see here we've got vertices, edges and faces at the location of the cursor in the 3D view. So we don't have to keep um, breaking our concentration, coming way away from what, where we might be working. Um, so uh, that's basically just summarizes the object and component modes. Um, just let's have a look at some uh, selecting some edge loops. To select edge loops within this object, all we would need to do is hold down the Alt key and then right click on an edge and we can see we get the edge loop for that edge. Um, to keep adding edge loops to the selection, what we would need to do is hold down the Shift key. So if I just go Shift, Alt and then right mouse button, you can see we're adding edge loops to that selection now. If we just keep that same hotkey configuration, just click on an edge again, we can see we can start to remove them from the selection. Um, so that's just Shift, Alt and then right click on an already selected edge loop just to remove it. Um, we can do the same kind of ideas with the uh, to select edge rings, only we need to hold down the control key as well. So um, if we just go control, alt, and then right mouse button, we can see we're getting edge rings. And again, if we hold down the shift key, as, long as, as well as the control and alt mouse buttons, we can get uh, additional edge rings in the selection. And then if we just hold, keep the same key presses down, so shift, control, alt, and then right mouse button, and already selected edge ring, we can remove them from the selection. Um, just using edge rings as an example, what we can do is we can switch to the face selection mode. I just brought that menu up with the control tab shortcut key. Um, what we can do now is we can just select on an edge and then um, the same kind of idea uh, maintains, is maintained. So I've just gone control alt and then right clicked on an edge just to get that edge ring. Um, same kind of idea, if we just go alt and then right click we get the, um, the edge loop but it also selects those faces for that. Same with vertices. Um, so we can get that edge loop there. I'm just alt and right clicking on this edge. Um, so you don't need to be in edge mode to, um, for that to work. I'm just going to switch into edge mode just to demonstrate something else. Uh, the shortest edge selection path um, can be achieved by control and right clicking on an edge. So if we just do that there, you can see it's worked out uh, a selection to there. Um, uh, the, if I just actually, I'm just going to press C um, in fact, I'm going to switch to face mode actually just to demonstrate this. I'm just going to demonstrate the um, kind of a border selection um, to switch a, a selection into its border loop selection. Um, I'm just going to press C uh, to enter the circle or paint selection type mode and then left click on a bunch of faces. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click to exit that tool and then come down to select and then we can see we get select boundary loop at the top. And we can see that that's basically given us a, a boundary loop for that selection. Um, so that's how you would achieve that in Blender. Uh, note there are uh, a bunch of other options within here, um, some quite useful selection methods. Um, so for example, um, what we can do is we can just select a side of active, for example, or just in the interior faces um, uh, and a random selection. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, useful things in here. That's always uh, handy. Taking a look to see if the tool already exists. So let's just take another look in that menu there. We can see we have uh, more and less, which is basically the same as Maya's uh, grow selection, uh, the grow and shrink selection. Uh, so if we were just to uh, see, notice that this is um, mapped to the numpad plus and minus keys uh, while holding down control. Um, so let's just see if we can do that uh, by just adding to selections there or shrinking the selection or more or less in Blender terminology. Um, so that's fairly straightforward. 
To convert a selection, um, we don't really quite need to do that in the same way in Blender because if we just switch to the face mode here, we can see it, um, it will just basically maintain that selection. Uh, as we switch to verts now, we can see that it's essentially uh, just holds, it automatically always converts. So there's no additional thing we need to do except just switch to the various different um, sub-object type, um, be it vertices, edges, or uh, faces. So that's just something to wor uh, something worth noting. Um, and finally, what we can do is just to um, select the remaining faces of any particular object. So um, just to make this uh, more noticeable, I'm just going to press Z to enter wireframe. I'm going to press Control Tab to uh, select faces from that menu there. I'm just going to press B to border select those faces. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to deselect everything first, but B. Uh, I've deselected everything with the A key there, just going to press B again, and now select those faces, going to press Shift D just to duplicate them out like that. So now we have um, uh, this one object with two separated parts. I'm just going to press Z again to come back to solid mode, um, and press Tab to edit back into it. I'm just going to press A to deselect everything. Um, so basically what we can do is we can just go uh, select this face here uh, and press Control L and it will essentially uh, select everything else that is connected to that face. Uh, note that it hasn't selected any of this. Um, and so if we just uh, select the face in this area here and press Control L, note again, the same thing has happened. This uh, area has been left alone. Um, that's basically the same as double clicking a face in um, uh, Maya. That's just basically the uh, in Blender terminology. This is called um, select linked, which we should be able to see um, is, is here linked. Um, and as I say, there are other options uh, worth exploring within there as well.